there was this amazing study done out of Stanford where they found that in the in in 2017, in the midst of you know the the year of terror they called it in the UK when we had the, those three those terror attacks, London uh, Bridge, uh, uh, we also had sort of Manchester Arena. You know, there was a lot of anti-Muslim sentiment being expressed online in the UK and and being expressed on the streets of the UK. Um, we were measuring that in our lab, actually. It was like a really bad year for anti-Muslim hatred. But when Mo Salah signed up to Liverpool Football Club that year, all of a sudden, anti-Muslim sentiment on social media and on the streets in Merseyside dropped, while across the rest of the country, they, they remained high. And it was an isolated effect to Liverpool football fans and, and Merseyside as an area. And what the study found was that because Mo Salah was performing so incredibly well, he, I think he won the Golden Boot and he, he got loads of accolades that year. He was a top goal, uh, goal um, top goal scoring player. Uh, he had done amazing things for Liverpool Football Club. The players stopped seeing him as Muslim in a sense and saw him as a part of this su superordinate group, this, this, this Liverpool football group all of a sudden. But what was really fascinating was that they began to look upon Islam as a positive thing. In fact, they began to chant around the stands of Anfield praise for Islam. And there are even YouTube videos of, of Liverpool football fans uh, uh, singing these chants in pubs in Merseyside. And it was an amazing phenomenon. But what it proved, I think, was that you, know, you can overcome pre-existing prejudices by promoting very positive stereotypes um, of folks that are usually subject to very negative stereotypes. But the problem with this solution is we can't expect our football f players, our rugby players, our sports stars to, to, take, to take this problem on as their own and to change minds. We have to rely on other other mechanisms also you know it's education it's the state it's 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 our communities and us as well but it, how interesting that the positive portrayal of a player and their positive performance on the pitch can actually turn around uh levels of hate online and offline while all around them all around the country they're inflated because of this this year of terror that we had it's just such a powerful example of how a whole community can be changed by by one sort of one player in that context. And imagine if we had lots of Mo Salahs around the country. I bet every team would love a Mo Salah, right? Um, but ultimately, you know, it's it's just such a such a powerful example of how something like sport can can change minds for the better.